Welcome again to Aussie Beer TV. I'm Brent. This is Ty. And Ty, we've taken it outside today. Yeah, we have, haven't we? we? In, the, in the fresh air. Yeah, in the fresh air, mate. A little bit casual. Yep. Um, not that we're too formal anyway. No, but, no. but going outside, I think we're just an airy, breezy yeah, type of feeling. Yeah. Nice, awesome day in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Very nice, very nice. And Ty, talk us through the beer we're doing today. Yeah, so today we're doing a beer from the guys from uh, Bridge Road Brewers. Okay. Actually in Beechworth. Beechworth. Uh, country Victoria. Not Bridge Road, Richmond. No, no, no. No, no, no. Beechworth. Yep. About three hours sort of northeast of Melbourne. Okay. Uh, at the uh, foothills of the, of the Victorian snowfields. Oh, very uh, nice. Yeah, an old uh, gold mining town. Yep. Very, very nice spot. Yep. Um, now, the beer we're doing is actually a Pilsner. Yep. But it's a bit of a twist. Bit of a twist. Chestnut Pilsner. These little beauties. Ah, chestnut. chestnuts. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, uh, I think grown locally out there. Yep. 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 Grown locally. Um, that goes into the beer. I think also the... the Hops. The hops, yeah, it's all local ingredients, yep, mate. Yep, Everything fantastic. from Beechworth, I think oh, the, the galaxy, the galaxy hops, the, yep. the, the chestnuts. Yep, yep. It's all made. Uh, how do they start, Brent? That's a very good question. Oh. I'm, I'm happy you asked that. I'm always happy you asked. You that are. Yeah, I'm glad I asked it too, yeah, Brent. Yeah. Um, ben Kraus, I think, is is, is pretty much Sorry, the driving. Who? Ben Kraus. Ben Kraus. Okay. Pretty much, pretty much the driving force behind uh, behind Pre the brewery. Yep, yep. Um, I think his original intent was to pursue a, a career in the wine industry. Oh, okay, yep, yep. I believe went but to Europe. Beer is better, of course. That's exactly right, mate. Somehow. Somewhere, so, so went to Europe. Yep, got diverted. Yep, ended up sort of becoming interested in, in beer? beer making, okay. brewing, and so forth. And and here we are today. Ah, oh, sensation! I think started. I think a local boy. I think even started in his dad's in his dad's, dad's shed. I think in the what backyard. A, what so. a better place to start. Man. No, no better place at all. Yeah, so yeah. Um, next. Um, so what type of beer ah is it yes type? yes a pilsner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't got the family tree with us, but we'll, we'll put it up on yeah. the screen. If you want to talk us through the pilsner, yeah. uh, we haven't had a pilsner for a while. But basically, a pilsner is from the lager side of the tree. Yep. Now you've got see pilsner, pilsner and pale ale, pale lagers. Sorry, quite uh, quite similar. But pilsner is basically a bit more hoppy, a bit okay. more uh, a bit more hop, hop character to it. Yep. And it's definitely a definitely definitely it's only Nick style. Okay. Actually, the world's most popular beer now, the pilsner. Oh wow. That's so yeah, so we're right up there. But as this one, a bit different with the old uh, the old chestnuts. The old chestnuts in it. So. And, and the, the, I mean, the, the way that they um, put the bottle together, the labelling on the yeah, bottle, yeah. it's all very interesting. Isn't no, that's right, yeah. Now, the label itself, and you'll see yep. it from Beechworth, and you'll see Ned Kelly on the bottle, Brent. Okay. Uh, so, Ned Kelly is one of, you know, one of Victoria's most famous bush rangers. Not a <laughs> not a nice bloke, but <laughs> no, pretty no, famous bloke. No, but we like doing that, don't we? That's right. I think yeah. he spent some time in Beechworth jail. Okay. For being, okay. A very, being a very naughty boy. So he's okay. on the label, as you can see. Yep. He's yep. the guy in that big mask on the label. Okay. So, so if we go into uh, if we go into appearance time. Now, as we're pouring that beer there. I mean, it's coming out. It's 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 obviously you, you've got that straw-like colour that you'd expect. A little bit. Of, it's a little bit cloudy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit cloudy. I mean, yep. like, lots of bubbles coming through there. Almost like a champagne type colour. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, very sort of straw straw-like colour. Yep, yep. Um, it's quite a uh, you know quite a decent sized head on my one. Yep. A few bubbles. Same with mine as well. And a, a nice looking head. Uh, like in terms of appearance, a nice looking beer. It's, it's a nice looking beer. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Nice looking beer. As you guys can see that. Now, in terms of the aroma, I've just you've, you've, I've had you've a sip. Taste, but, but the aroma, um, I think not much of an aroma. Yeah, it's not much there. But would you be expecting much from a Pilsner? No, Probably I think not. No, from no, a Pilsner, not no. normally. Not normally. No. I think um, um, I mean, a slight sort of a herbal kind mm. of a, kind of a smell. Um, Very faint, isn't it? Yeah. Now taste. Mmm. Nice. Um, it is nice, isn't it? It's almost, got, almost creamy for a pilsner. Yeah. Uh, probably, refreshing. Probably the nuts coming through. Yeah. There's a little bit of nuts. Yeah. And it's it? very refreshing. Very refreshing. Um, I think I, also uh, a bit of a tang too. I think almost like a lemon lemon yeah. type tang. Um, I think the uh, I think now this beer uses Galaxy hops, also yep. grown locally. Yep. I think initially yep. from Tasmania. Okay. Now, Galaxy hops tend to have a um, Almost passion fruit type flavors. Okay, okay. I can't quite taste it in there, but there's definitely something in this beer. Yeah, there is something. Isn't um, it? It's 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 nice. Though, isn't oh, it? it's very nice. Like if, you, if you can perhaps consider the mainstream sort of lagers or pilsners that people are probably drinking out here, forget those. This is where you want to be. Yeah, it's got yeah. it's got a very unique taste. I think a bit of sweet, sort of sweety grain type yeah, taste coming yeah, through. Yep. Yeah. Um, Incredibly nah, refreshing. No, nah, very, very refreshing. Nice, very very nice. crisp. It's yeah. a it's a gem of a beer. This one. Yeah. So overall, time. I mean, this is uh, for me. This is a type of beer. Summer day. It's hot. Yep. Whack a couple of these in the fridge. Easy drinking. Out uh, out of the fridge, icy cold. Oh, I mean, it's, it's a unique Australian pilsner with it. Mm. You know, with its own sort of funky twist. Mm. I think it works really well. It tastes different to quite a few other pilsners. Yep. But I think that's a good thing. Yeah, oh, positive. Um, it's a real positive. You know, I think it's a say a real, real sort of nice beer. Now these guys also just quickly they, they brew. These guys love beer. Yep. They're not in it for Won the a heap of awards. Heap, well. of, heap of awards. Yeah. Not yep. in it for the for the short term. It's not yep. just a hobby. Yep. It's their passion. Yep. They also brew. I think reasonably small batches. Yep. Sort of 100, 100 cases okay. at a time. Okay. They they care about this beer. They love it. 
They like experimenting with different flavors, different ingredients. Yep. And that's the result we're seeing here today. And and Beechworth, mate. The yeah, place where it is, yeah, it's Beechworth. Nice, nice part of the Oh, it's an absolute sensational part. Yeah, now I think yeah. they're actually in some stables or something around okay. there. Okay. Um, the the, the brewery is located, you know, in, in Beechworth. It's a bit of a local icon. Yep. Um, great outdoor beer garden. Um, fantastic pizzas. Something about Austrian pretzels or something I read somewhere. Okay, well, so that sounds interesting. So you get Is that the, his wife? I think his wife. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, think, I think she's a master at making the pretzels. That's right. Bangs them out. There you go. That's right. So I, think, I mean, you know, what better way to spend a summer afternoon, mate? mate. It's a, it's a, I mean, overall, this is this is great. This is fantastic. Summer afternoon, Beechworth. Check out, check out the town, you know. Uh, Walk down the main street, great food, great beer. Um, what else? Um, just, just sensational. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, beer nut test, mate. Uh, the or, be, or the uh, the chestnut nut test. That's hard to chest, say. It is. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Say that three times. Mate. That's like say. Yeah. What, what else is hard to say, Brent? Uh, I'm not sure, mate. But uh, Irish Irish wristwatch. <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> Yet again, I don't know who writes your. No, no. Nah, but we got to give them the flick. Look, I reckon. I reckon. Uh, I reckon. Uh, Ned. Uh, what's his name? Ned. Uh, Ned, Ned Kelly. Ned Kelly. He'd, yeah. he'd squeeze one of these through his helmet. I reckon if you could. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's just a fantastic beer. So yeah. We, we, we like it, don't we? Yep, big thumbs up from us. Uh, there we go, Todd. We might just do a bit of a cheers there. We've been Aussie Beer TV. Check us out. Yep, hope you enjoyed the outdoors.